welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to start part two of a three-part series, Don't Give Up. If you haven't seen the first series, I will link that video down below so you are all caught up. And uh, go watch that video before this one because it kind of just like flows better. If you like this kind of content, please like this video. It helps me out a lot. Comment down below your thoughts and subscribe. Sub subscribe and let's get into it the title of today's video is don't give up on yourself in part one we discussed not giving up on God I believe this becomes a chain reaction happening right before our very own eyes and some don't even get to see it first we give up on God because we can't always see what he's doing there are trials and tribulations Soon after, we give up on ourselves. The devil constantly tries to tell us lies, and sometimes we believe them, but they aren't true. Because scripture tells us we are fearfully and wonderfully made, but before we get into today's word, let's get an overview of the book we will be in. And the book we will be in today is Hebrews, and the author is actually unknown. There are a lot of suggestions on who wrote the book of Hebrews, but nothing is actually set in stone. The book is to present the importance and power of Christ. Hebrews was probably written before the destruction of the temple since there is no mention of this destruction. The original audience was Christians who wanted to turn back to their old beliefs, perhaps because of immaturity, stemming from the lack of understanding of biblical truths. I feel like a lot of us today can relate to that. Um, we tend to always fall back into our old patterns and then don't do that because it's not worth it and we can't let the devil win. Or maybe they just needed reassurance that Christianity is true and that Jesus is the Messiah. Today's scripture is in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus the pioneer and perfecter of our faith for the joy before him he endured the cross scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. The great cloud of witnesses mentioned above is the people described in chapter 11. And you're probably wondering, ma'am, we're in chapter 12. Why are you going backwards? The people described in chapter 11, better known as the Hall of Faith. If you haven't noticed, it's um, faith by Abel, Noah, Abraham, Moses, and many, many others. Their faithfulness is a constant encouragement to us to keep going because we do not struggle alone. If you think, if you are out there right now watching this video and you think that you are struggling alone, I'm here to tell you that's a lie. The devil is trying to feed you a lie to where you're distracted and going off here when you need to be going off here. Like the devil will do that and he knows your weaknesses and he will do it well. And it sucks, <laughs> but it's true. Hebrews 11 verse 13 says, all these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised they only saw them and welcomed them from a distance. I believe it, it's hard. It is so hard. We're surrounded by so much bad news and, and terrible things happening around us. But we have to realize what life is worth and what life is meant to be as we're here living it. And I believe that we grow weary 
even if we are believers or not. And I think God gives us what we need to not grow weary in our in our race, in our in our life. And being a Christian and having that gift that God gives us, it, it doesn't make it easy by no means. It does not make it easy. But it makes it worth it. I believe we have personal promises from God and whatever that promise is or maybe you haven't even realized that or seen that yet whatever that promise is keep fighting don't give up don't give up on yourself because God has made you with purpose regardless if you can see that or not all of us face difficult times and persecution we are reminded that Christ didn't give up on us and neither should we give up on us too. So throw off everything that hinders you, fixing your eyes on Jesus, so you don't give up on yourself. I just wanna thank everyone for watching and it means the world to me that some people would actually wanna see this, um, not discounting God's word, discounting me. Um, <laughs> And I am very nervous doing all of this stuff and it's taken me a couple years actually to sit in front of the camera and do this and post the videos, edit the videos, all that kind of stuff. So if you like this kind of content, please like this video, subscribe if you want to see more of this, and I will see you in tomorrow's video, part three. Do not extend legs. It will not help. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I gotta study it. No! <laughs>